Hello, my name is Liz and I'm a teaching artist for the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra's Sound Discoveries program. And today we are going to be putting together an easy instrument that you can make at home with some things from your kitchen and um, some other little items. What we will need would be a plastic Easter type egg. You can find those right now because it's the season. Some electrical tape, it can be any color. A pair of scissors. And if you like a Sharpie, this is optional. And then you can just go into your cupboard and see what you find. What I have here today are dried beans, some dried macaroni, some split peas, some popcorn kernels, some rice, and then a mixture of all of those. And what we're gonna do is make some egg shakers and then compare the sounds that these different ingredients can make. So what you do is you just open your egg and you're gonna start with just one side. Now each egg may be a little bit different depending on what you buy and they may have a little hole in the bottom and the top. If they do, you can take a small piece of the electrical tape and just put it inside to block that hole. So these holes are pretty small, but if yours are, are large, then sometimes the rice can come out or some of the dust from inside will come out. So if you want to, you can always seal it up with tape from the inside. You can put it on the outside too, but little by little it might wear, wear off if you put it on the outside. So I like to start with the bottom of the egg. You have your top, which is pointy, and your bottom, which is round, and I just fill the bottom half. You can put as much as you want in on that bottom half. If you choose to fill both sides, let's see what happens. One, it's a little harder to close, but two, it's not gonna make very much sound. So I like to do just one side, and you're gonna get a bit more sound because they'll have room to move inside. So after you seal it up, a very important part is to seal it again with the electrical tape. So I usually take about five or so inches maybe a little bit more, it's not a perfect science, but you want enough to go totally around the egg. And the trick is you actually want to stretch the tape as you turn the egg, and this makes a tight seal. You need to go around at least once, and if you have extra tape, then you can just keep going until you've used all the tape. And then you've got a completed shaker. Optional, if you want to decorate, you can do that with your markers or stickers or anything like that. And in this case, for our science experiment, I'm actually gonna write a B for beans, so later, if we try to play a guessing game, we can see what our answers are. So this is our beans, and it makes a sound like this, which we will be able to compare as we go through the rest. So this is macaroni. So right now, you can just guess what kind of sound you think this is gonna make. And we'll go ahead and close it up. And this is the sound of macaroni. It's pretty different than the beans. Okay, so we'll seal it up. And we're gonna do this for each different egg. So you can literally use anything that you find in your house that is small, that is hard, and that is going to be dry. So you wouldn't use cooked food, because one, it wouldn't make a good sound, and two, it would begin to smell, smell bad after a couple days. So this is the macaroni. Then we have split peas. And you might be thinking, okay, I've got some of these things in my cupboard. And we'll go through, seal this one up. You can use different colors of eggs. You can use different colors of tape. You can make these as fancy as you like. So this is the split pea sound. I'm gonna put an M for macaroni on this one. And I'm going to put SP for split P on this one. Then we have popcorn. So, same thing. We're gonna put some in the base, close it up, tape it up. And then I will write P for popcorn on this. 
We have two more to go. So we've got our rice. I really like the sound of rice. It's really soft and gentle sounding. Kind of relaxing. And so we've got our rice. I'll put an R for rice. And then this last one is a mix. So I put a little bit of each thing inside of this here so we can hear how they sound all together. And it's a pretty interesting sound to have them all mixed up like that. So we will put an M for mixed. Actually, I'm going to put M-I-X because we have M for macaroni. So I'll just quickly write that on there. Okay, so we'll go through one more time and listen to each sound and then maybe we'll try to guess a few. So this is our beans. This is our macaroni. A little higher pitched. These are our split peas. It's a little softer. This is our popcorn. This is the rice. And this is the mix. So if you want to try at home, you can actually mix them all up. And then I'll pick one at random. We can guess and see how we do. So let's see. What do we think this one could be? It turns out that was the rice. We'll do one more. And what do you think this one could be? It was beans. And together, beans and rice make a great combo. So thank you very much for joining me today. Again, you can pick anything in your house that works. It's small, hard, and dry, and fits into one of these Easter eggs. You're just gonna fill the bottom part, push it together, tape it up, and then if you would like to, you can decorate or you can play the guessing game whatever works for you. So thank you. Again, I'm Liz from Sound Discoveries from the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra, and have a lot of fun making music at home.